you beautiful humans. <laughs> uh, I'm here to talk about how to stop feeling guilty about setting boundaries. I'm Jessica Amos. I'm a mindfulness teacher, a, <laughs> a boundaries coach, and the founder of Stay With Yourself, the practice of being who you are, where you are. And here's the thing about setting boundaries and guilt. I was recently talking with someone who said, I just want to set boundaries and not feel guilty about it. And here's the truth. That's never going to happen. <laughs> you have to start setting boundaries and then you have to learn what to do with that guilt after you set the boundary, right? So guilt is just a feeling. Guilt is a feeling. And it's not so much, it's not so bad that you would have a guilty feeling. It's what you do with the guilt that matters. Um, are you going to take that guilt and then go back on your boundaries? You're going to take that guilt and are you going to apologize? Are you going to get take that guilt and beat yourself up and then start to go, you know, start to revert back to all the reasons why you shouldn't have set the boundary to begin with? Or are you going to recognize that guilt is part of the system that conditioned you into not having very good boundaries to begin with. Guilt is one of the biggest manipulation tactics that other people use in order to keep you hooked into codependency and keep you hooked into uh, doing what it is that they want you to do or being who it is that they want you to be. So the people who guilt trip you about having boundaries are the people who are the most invested in you not having them. So of course you're going to feel guilty because you were conditioned to feel guilty. It's that guilt to begin with that got you here, right? So the work is to not wait until you don't feel guilty to set the boundaries. It's the same with fear. If you wait until you're not afraid, you're never going to move forward with your life. The point is to set the boundary, to do the practice. And then what do you do with the guilt? How do you sit with that guilt, right? A good thing to do with that guilt is to write about it. Instead of going back on your boundaries and whatever it is your guilt is telling you to do, apologizing for it or whatever, get out a piece of paper, write down your thoughts, write something to yourself, write what it is that your guilt is saying to you, and then replace it with something else. Or just get in the practice of going, you know what, this is just part of it. And guilt, I promise you, will begin to dissipate over time. Will it come up from time to time after a lot of practice? Yes, of course. Conditioning goes deep. But the only way to not feel guilty about having boundaries is to practice having boundaries and sitting with that guilt and not acting on it and not doing anything with it. So that's the simple answer. That's the straight answer. You can't not have the guilt, but you can choose to not act on the guilt. And recognizing what the conditioning is and then speaking the truth to yourself. And the truth is that you get to decide what is best for you. Only you know what is best for you. You need to honor your life and yourself. If someone else is upset that you're setting a boundary, that's their problem. That is theirs to sit with, theirs to deal with. And they haven't had to sit with their problems and they haven't had to sit with dealing with it because they've always had you or someone else to hook into things so that they don't have to sit with themselves. So as you sit with yourself, they also are forced to sit with themselves. Not that that's your motive necessarily, but it frees you up to not be responsible. And so remind yourself of that. I'm not responsible for other people. I'm not responsible for their happiness right? So I hope you find that helpful. I know that um, when I first learned that, it really helped me a lot, that guilt's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. It's not bad. It's not good. It was conditioned. So um, just, just let yourself feel guilty, but don't 
Don't let it mean anything more than just a feeling, okay? I hope you're having an awesome day. Until next time, may you stay with yourself today and always.